and welcome, I'm Elizabeth and in today's video I'm going to be taking you with me as I decorate our entire home for spring 2024. So here is a look at everything that I have pulled out for decor to add to the house. We're gonna add a lot of greenery as you can see and some of my favorite faux florals. I even threw in a couple little thrifted bunnies and some bird's nests. A lot of these items are thrifted. We also have some gorgeous new items gifted by Balsam Hill. Very excited to be adding these into my decor this year. I feel like they really elevated the whole space and gave me a ton of inspiration for the direction that I wanted to go with my decor. And we are not holding back. We are changing out furniture and color schemes in rooms. We are doing the living room, the dining room, the breakfast room, the laundry room, and the kitchen. One more, also the foyer in this video. So I hope that you enjoy and that you collect a ton of inspiration. I'll be chatting with you throughout. Leave me a like on this video if you're enjoying it already subscribe if you haven't yet but let's start decorating let's start spring decorating in the breakfast room this is adjacent to the kitchen we use this room often for quick easy meals and we love this room it's bright and it's cheery it has a ton of charm but i really want to infuse this room with more color for spring Yellow to me is one of the happiest colors, so we're going to be bringing in a lot of pops of yellow. Rhapsody in Blue arrangement from Balsam Hill just set the tone for the whole room by adding those bright pops of color that I was going for for spring. It features cornflowers, my favorite hydrangeas. There will be links in the description box below for as many of the decor items that I'm using. Also, I want to call your attention to Balsam Hill's spring sale where you can get 30% off up until April 7th, as well as free shipping. I love these artificial tulips. I will have these linked below for you. They really do look authentic and that's the only type of faux florals I like to use is the most realistic looking ones that I can find. But to get these to sit in this jar properly, I just took a can and stuffed the outsides with some plastic bags. And that was the perfect solution to get my tulips sitting up in the position that I wanted them to. go out You're in my mind I close my eyes So it's just you and I And I tell myself You'll be back again 
at some of the spring decor that we put up in our schoolroom. This room used to be a really old grungy attic space in our 1800s home that we completely renovated and I have a whole video on that if you'd like to see. It's in the playlist room makeovers. So go watch that. It's a really cool video and since it is officially spring we're going to be learning all about plants and flowers with some fun activities of planting our own and learning all about how they grow and the parts and the pieces of the flowers. It's time to turn our attention to the living room. This is going to be the biggest room that we're decorating in this video and we're making a lot of big changes in here. I really was ready for a refresh for some more color so this is what the room is looking like before we start decorating we had a very dark rug in here and all white furniture except for the one uh love seat you see here that has a little bit of a creamier cover on it and that is because i was playing with different ikea covers to see uh, what i liked and i will say that is one thing that i love about ikea and specifically this upland sofa is that you can change out the covers so that gives you a lot of flexibility and variety and I actually did get some new covers with some color that I'm going to show you and I really think that they completely transformed this entire space and here is the sofa with the new green cover on it I believe this is called a gray green I can't remember the official name but it's the only gray green one that they have available for the upland sofa and now I'm trying to figure out what I want to use for a back pillow I like to replace the cushions that come with the sofa for these euro shams because they give you a lot more depth and we like to double up on these so we need that but I think Think that I'm gonna go with the white we also replaced the rug with something a little bit brighter and this is from ruggable and it's the Odette ivory white orchids from balsam hill are just exquisite they feel 
real they look real i really love these so much and i knew i wanted them to be front and center in my spring decor which is why they are going on my fireplace mantle and because i love a little bit more of a traditional look we are going to flank either side of the mirror and create that symmetry with two of them so I just could not be more thrilled with how gorgeous these are especially the blue chinoiserie type pot they came in it just fits in with my decor so beautiful well how about next we make our own little arrangement with this thrifted ginger jar and some very realistic hydrangeas that I had probably from Hobby Lobby so I did not want to cut these stems I think these are really nice but what I am going to do is just remove the mop heads off and they are removable and you can put them right back on so no harm done there and we're just gonna pop those mop heads of these hydrangeas right into the top of this jar I'm not gonna use anything to secure them I'm just gonna pop them in hopefully nobody is petting them or anything so they fall out but I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it looks so real. I will be bringing in real flowers eventually into the house, but let me show you what it looks like outside today as I am decorating. Yes, it already has been spring for a couple of days, but this is Michigan and you just never know what you're gonna get. Now we're moving on to replacing these brown transferware plates with some blue ones in order to bring in some more of the springtime color scheme that I'm going for. And I'm just using some gallery putty on the back to help keep these plates in place. Okay, so I have this thrifted frame and above our TV, I have some photos of the kids, but it's a little bare. I don't really have any other photos of them at the moment, but I thought that I could use this really pretty wrapping paper that I had over Christmas time, put that in the frame, and it would be a really pretty touch of spring, and also add the blue over to that side of the room. Next, we'll be adding a few spring touches to the foyer and this is what it's looking like before we decorate very simple I did just add this thrifted pedestal table in here so I think that's going to be the perfect place to put another gorgeous balsam hill arrangement I also have a cute idea on where to put some tulips in here that I think you'll get a little bit of a kick out of so let's make this room look a little bit more bright and sunny
here we are in the dining room. I want to make a few small changes in here, nothing crazy, but nonetheless, I think that it really helped to make the room feel more cheery for spring and more charming. So I've had these Waverly chair covers for quite a while and I just love the colors, the pattern, and I think that spring is going to be the perfect time to use these and throw these on my Parson chairs that I have here. So we're, this is going to be the inspiration, the jumping off point for the color scheme and the decor in here. As a little whimsical nod to Easter, I thought I would create a centerpiece that resembles an Easter basket using some foliage and placing in some dried panicle hydrangeas. I think this would look beautiful with all sorts of different flowers, tulips, um, any type of spring floral that you might have, hyacinths. And then I'm placing in these little bird's nests with, of course, some little blue robin's eggs inside. It's just a very simple centerpiece idea for you. Well, if you're enjoying this decorating video, I invite you to subscribe and make sure that your notifications are on because we're going to be using these gorgeous items that you see here to decorate our front porch. These are also from Balsam Hill and I am just in love with how everything looks. I think it's going to be gorgeous on the porch. I've had quite a few uh, porch decorating videos that have done very well, so I think you all enjoy watching me get out there and get it all dressed up for the different seasons so stay tuned that will be the next video to head your way we have made our way to the kitchen and i think every kitchen deserves a touch of spring whether that be just a few florals or some pastels some brighter colors whatever it is that your aesthetic is this time of year. We're going to keep things very simple. Mm -hmm. 